congratulate SMU. I thought their effort tonight was tremendous. Uh, they've been a couple of years with uh, decimated injuries. You know, we played them last year in this tournament. Shake Milton didn't play. We played them this year both times. Jerry Foster didn't play during the regular season. Uh, just happy to see him back out there. They've been through a lot playing shorthanded. So I knew after watching them play last night, it was going to be a tough game. Them at full strength, Coach Jank does a great job. And uh, they got five guys that play together on offense. They can all shoot. They share the ball. They all play smart. They play to their strengths. The drivers drive it. The shooters shoot it. And then they can make guarded shots. And teams that can make guarded shots, are, yeah, they're dangerous. It's, it, you play great team defense, the guy just jumps up and, and makes makes it really a pro shot because pros have to take those shots with the short shot clock. So really proud of our effort. We had to win with offense tonight, and uh, our passing was excellent, 15 assists to eight turnovers. And uh, obviously these two guys with me made big-time plays, which they've been doing all year. And I thought Trey Scott, uh, was who's not here with us, was – probably the key to the game. We're down 29-21. He started imposing his physical will on the game. Uh, he looked like number five, Justin Jackson, who used to play f for Cincinnati. And I've uh, been trying to challenge him to, to embody Justin. And uh, his effort was awesome. His effort, his effort on the glass, he had 17 and 12 tonight. So I thought he really changed the game for us. And then obviously, Jaron does a great job closing it out. He's been doing it all year for us. Take questions for coach or the student athletes. Raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you, please. Questions over here. Justin, what was it in that first half that, that was able to kind of get you going and, and help you propel the offense for the first 20, 25 minutes? Um, just being ready to shoot. Um, coach always emphasizes, you know, everybody being ready to shoot and, you know, locking in and you know, shooting the ball. And, my teammates did an amazing job of, uh, you know, getting getting in the paint and drawing the defense so I can get open shots. You know, it's kudos to Ted because, because he got me a lot of shots today. <laughs> Jerry, I know you pride yourself on passing a lot, so the eight assists tonight was, I mean, for you just to, you know, get guys good looks? Uh, it means a lot. Actually, I knew Justin, uh, I knew that uh, like SMU was going to help off of me, well, help off of them, and I knew they would be open. And I was just, I knew Coach was telling me all week to find an open guy and we got to get guys open shots. So, eight assists, I mean, I'm happy about it. Go here to play. Justin, you had a rough day on, on senior day. You, you come out and you don't miss tonight. And the momentum is so big. Just tell me about that shot as it goes in. How, how are you feeling? Uh, it feels great when it goes in. You know, I, I always have to get on, I get on myself for missing shots. And, you know, today it was going in. Today was my day. You know, it looked like I didn't miss today. And, you know, you did. Perfect game. Perfect game don't happen like that. You know, it don't happen, it happen often. So, you know, coming in from, you know, my senior night, I didn't make any shots. And coming in to make all my shots today is just, you know, shooting comes and goes. Coach always emphasizes that as well. You know, shooting comes and goes. But yes, as long as we control our effort, you know, that's what's going to win us games. Coach, how much of a challenge do they present? Because you can play great defense on them for 29 seconds, and they have a couple guys that can just step up and hit shots. Is it difficult to keep that? Intensity up when they do that. We, we, we. I will tell you, I give our kids credit. You know, Darren and Antoine. I mean, we, we were adjusting the entire game, trying to figure out different things. You know, we were talking with the guys. You know, these two guys made some things happen on their own uh, defensively in the second half, trying to take a few things away that SMU was doing to us. Because if you don't switch and, and you double the pick and roll, the guy they have popping is Isaiah Mike or Ethan Shagwan, both great shooters. Uh, so we're trying to control who ended up on defense in the one-on-one. We knew they were going to end up in a one-on-one situation, so we were trying to dictate at least 
to get a guard defending that guy so now Sierra could at least rebound. Because if he's defending the guy going one on one, then it takes him, eliminates him from the defensive glass. So we changed defenses quite a bit. We actually uh, went straight man in the first half when we were down eight and just tried to continue to adjust. But the, the guys did a great job communicating with it. But I thought the key to the game, they really kept shooting the same percentage. We started limiting them to one shot it was the key to the game, our defensive rebound. Uh, Jaron, SMU kept it relatively close, or really close up until about two minutes left. What would you say it says about the composure of the team not to be rattled by that and to be able to still pull away at the end? Um, I would just say the guys that we had from last year and the people like people from the bench that started this year, they really stepped up and coach told us we just got to keep our uh, calm. We got to stay calm and just do what we had to do to win games. Because at the end of the, at the final score, that's the only thing that matters. Other questions? Stay over here to the left. I know you have to watch uh, Temple and Wichita State here, but uh, the first two games, are you surprised that they were blowouts, the uh, Houston uh, game and, and Memphis, the home team, obviously has a, a lot going for them. Well, Houston, to me, Houston's one of the best five teams in the country. You know, our league does, if you watch SMU play tonight at full strength and realize that they're the 10 seed in this tournament, that ought to tell you how good the American Conference is this year. And for Houston to be 29 and 2, I thought this year going into the year 14 and 4 would tie for the league. I can't believe they went 16 and 2. That's how good they are. They're, they're an elite basketball team. So anything they do doesn't surprise me. You know, Memphis is at home. And, you know, this so much about this is matchup, Scott. You know, the, they beat Central Florida 20 the time they played here before. And the only two teams that beat Memphis in this building all year is Tennessee, who's been in the top five all year in Cincinnati. So they're, they're an elite home team. So it doesn't surprise me at all how well they play today. Wanted two more? Everybody good? See you. Cincinnati, thank you. Thank you.